Um, well, um, I, I think uh, the party line has been that it is, and it is in fact darker and uh, scarier. I think this is really our scariest season yet. Uh, I remember reading the scripts at our first table read and just being like, wow, this is uh, it's gonna be intense. Um, so I would say definitely scary. Um, yeah, I also think um, it's the most developed season um, that, that, that's come. I think you know, we are getting closer to the end, so with that in mind, I think um, kind of opening a, a new, you know, opening the curtain on, on the Hawkins and why the things have been going on for the last three seasons and more into the mythology. Um, so, yeah, you know, I think that's a big part of it and it's setting up, you know, the end in a way with this season. Um, I'd also say that it's, um, it's yeah, it's, it's, a much, it's a much bigger season. I think that uh, everyone's grown up, the fans have grown up, the kids have grown up, uh, so it's only fair that the story's grown up. So, yeah, like Natalia said, it's become um, a much darker theme. I think, I think you know, that it's always been a little bit of to movies. So, if the first season was a good news, which then by me, I think, you know, this season leads heavily on like a nightmare on the street. Bueno, pues eh, primero que lo que las palabras de Natalia, ¿no? Eh, definitivamente se trata de la temporada la más oscura, la que más miedo da. La verdad es que en la primera lectura de guión todos estuvimos de acuerdo en que era realmente intensa. Y luego las palabras de Charlie, eh, pues sí, efectivamente, eh, eso, que nos estamos acercando al fin y esta temporada empieza un poco a abrir la puerta para prepararnos para ese final. Eh, abre también una cortina para dar una explicación de todo lo que ha sucedido a lo largo de las temporadas en Hawkins. Eh, es la temporada con diferencia más grande. Todos hemos crecido, los fans han crecido, los personajes han crecido, la historia ha crecido. Como ha dicho Natalia, es mucho más oscura. Y eh, así como si era, por supuesto, una declaración de amor de la serie a, a todos los indies, eh, por, por sus similitudes con eh, los Goonies, por ejemplo, en este caso sí que yo diría que el género se parece más a la pesadilla en el estreno. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, the expectation, you know, at least from the outside in has grown. Uh, that comes with anticipation and success. I think when anything is new and fresh, it's, like it's, it's, you know, you kind of take it for what it is and what, what I want to show as it becomes successful. You know, you know, look for and judge, I guess. But, um, I, you know, the nice thing um, for the actors on the show, and I, I, I think I can speak for everybody because I, I, it's a question that we have been asked before. Um, it is such a family uh, from the top down, so from the producers, the directors, uh, to all the crew, that it, it, it's never felt, at least when we're making it, that that pressure's you know, not there. It's kind of, it's kind of um, yeah, it, it just feels like we're back doing the same thing we were doing in the first season as we were doing in this season. And, and, and it's very, uh, it's very fun. It's very safe. And I, I think, I think with that, you know, the excitement comes from it being able to be safe and, and fun and the pressure's off. So, uh, yeah, that would be, yeah, right. Yeah, I think that's a great. Uh, I mean, I think you know, the Duffer Brothers have time and time again. So even us as the cast, um, just how how good they are at writing and, um, you know, being able to take it up a notch uh, every season, despite the fact that they're like, oh, like, where are you going here? Um, they always take it somewhere great. So there's a lot of trust in, in the story that they're creating. And you can tell that they really um, love their story and, and love their characters. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of trust in them. Well, the fact is that Es cierto que sobre todo está dentro de las expectativas en general vienen desde fuera hacia adentro, ¿no? Y esto sucede cuando una serie ha tenido muchísimo éxito. La verdad es que fue diferente al principio, ¿no? Cuando se trata de una serie nueva, pues simplemente vas con lo que vaya surgiendo y fluyes. Pero yo creo que hablo en nombre de todos cuando digo que todos tenemos la sensación de que hemos creado una gran familia, tanto productores, directores, como todo el equipo técnico. Por lo tanto, eso ayuda muchísimo a no sentir tanto esa presión. Eh, sino que la sensación de volver a hacer lo que hacíamos en la primera temporada. Ha sido divertido, nos hemos sentido sobre en todo momento y ha sido emocionante. Y en la temporada de Natalia, eh, la verdad es que los hermanos Dafer, que son nuestros grandes, es una maravilla lo bien que hacen las cosas, son unos guionistas 
fantásticos que siempre consiguen llegar a sitios increíbles. Nos encanta la historia y nos encantan los personajes. Um, yeah, we, I mean, it's, it's hard to talk about filming the season without talking about the, the pandemic. We just started filming, and of course everything happened, and we got, you know, like the rest of the world, we got kind of sidelined um, for a bit, and we were able to come back um, in a sort of timely fashion, and that's a credit to everybody who, who worked on that, um, as back up and running, but, you know, there's a lot of protocols that definitely, um, you know, slow, slow the pace down a bit, kind of changed the way that we filmed. And you're right, on top of that, I mean, that there's, it was just, it's such a big season, it's very spread out, there's a lot of storylines uh, going on at the same time. Um, so, yeah, it was definitely a, a, a drawn out process, um, but, I, but I think it was always really fun. I think we were all just really excited to be able to work through everything that was going on. Um. La verdad es que es, es difícil no hablar de los verdades de esta temporada sin hablar de la pandemia, ¿no? Porque es verdad que tuvimos un momento que parar y luego volvimos con todos los protocolos que seguro que todos conocéis. Eh, por lo tanto, sí que ya se ha notado que se ha se ralentizó el rodaje, pero bueno, eh, esta es una, como, como habéis dicho, es una, una temporada muy grande, con muchísimas líneas narrativas. Eh, a pesar de todo el tema de la pandemia, siempre, siempre ha sido divertido y. Yeah, I, I always credit the, the, the writing of it. I, you know, I, I will make suggestions to the doctors occasionally. I don't know. <laughs> I don't always take it. Um, but I mean, I mean, personally, Nancy's art, I think, has been so fun. I mean, looking back to her season one, even the way she dressed, the way she cared herself, the things she cared about, um, you know, and then now going into her fourth season, I, I just think she's really come into herself and come to her, her voice and learn to listen to her intuition, um, which I think is just, it's been, a, it's been a really nice journey to, to play. But there are, I mean, I think all of the females in our, in our cast are strong and like, you know, fully formed female characters. And it's, it's such a lovely thing to get to, get to play. Eh, la verdad es que sí, eh, por supuesto en este caso pues, eh, todo, todo, el, eh, todo el reconocimiento se debe al guión y es verdad que de vez en cuando puede alguna sugerencia, pero vamos que ahí estaba todo. Y eh, insisto en que ha, es, es, ha sido muy divertido, se cuida en cada detalle mi personaje, sí que ha tenido una cierta una progresión importante, ahora ya ha encontrado más su propia voz, eh, ha aprendido a escuchar a su intuición. Por lo tanto, me parece que el arco del personaje ha sido un viaje muy agradable para mí a la hora de retratarlo. Eh, creo que tenemos un, una, un elenco femenino fantástico con mujeres fuertes, eh, mujeres bien definidas, y me parece una suerte poder formar parte de este elenco. You know, they, they left Hawkins for the first time, uh, and he left his, his girlfriend Nancy. Uh, and I think he is feeling um, somewhat re re rejected. I, I think, and, and, and I think, you know, at the end they made this promise that everything was going to be okay. And I think the reality of that maybe is is a little difficult, you know, especially for the ladies. Uh, so I think he uh, is trying to deal with that, and, and he's met this friend, um, Argyle, who, who is his kind of um, unlicensed, um, unprofessional um, therapist, I guess, at times, uh, who is helping him get through his problems by uh, medicating him a little. So I, that's one way he's trying to deal with it, but. Um, um, yeah, I, you know, it was really nice. To, it was really nice to get to play that uh, for Jonathan. He, he, he always is kind of, you know, his cards are always very close to his chest, and and, and it be very a uh, very internalized character. You know, a lot going on inside that doesn't often show that. So it was nice to be able to, um, yeah, pl play that side that, that side of Jonathan. And um, it was fun. Uh, Eduardo Franco, who plays my friend, uh, joined the cast this year and uh, he just brought um, such a great energy uh, to this California 
plot uh, line, but also to me, brought a great energy <coughs> for me to play off. So it was it was really nice. We did a lot of improvising and a lot of just making scenes up and playing with it and trying to make the crew laugh, or trying to make the directors laugh. And I think it was just yeah, it was a real treat to kind of get to do that for me. So. Uh, eh, la verdad es que eh, eh, en esta temporada es verdad que por primera vez dos personajes se salen de Tokio. Eh, en mi caso, pues yo también he sacado mi novia, Nancy, y tengo una sensación un poco como de rechazo, ¿no? Y es verdad que al final nos prometo que todo va a ir bien, pero la realidad de eso es mucho más difícil, ¿no? Especialmente en los años 80. Me encuentro con este nuevo personaje, que es mi amigo, que se llama Arthur, eh, que, bueno, que me ayuda un poco a superarlo todo. Eh, medicarle, por así decirlo, ¿no? que ayuda con, con medicación y bueno, me ha parecido, eh, me ha gustado mucho ¿no? eh, interpretar esa parte del personaje, eh, se acuerda mucho de sus amigos eh, y esta parte, como decís, así un poco más relajada, eh, ha sido agradable de interpretar. Es verdad que Eduardo Franco, que es el que interpreta a un amigo nuevo que se llama Arcade, se unió al elenco este año y ha aportado una, mucha energía, una, una energía muy positiva a la historia, pero sobre todo para mí. Eh, hicimos eh, muchísima improvisación, incluso nos inventamos eh, algunas escenas eh, tratando de hacer reír a, a todo el equipo, que yo creo que lo conseguimos, por lo tanto la experiencia fue muy buena. Es funny because I think this season, more, more than any, we, um, we shot so out of order, all over the place, we'll be shooting from episode one, and the next day nine. It was, uh, yeah, it was a challenge, yeah, um, and confusing sometimes. <laughs> You're like, oh, so what, what happened? And then and you ask a lot of questions, I'm like, okay, and then, and then, and then that happened. You know, you're trying to track the story yourself. Um, so, you know, uh, it's a challenge. Um, I mean, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of piecing things together. Shot that, but this hasn't happened. Okay, so what do we know? Okay, um, but I, I will say, like in all of these d different uh, genres that we're playing with, it's it's always a really fun vibe on set. Different for the most part, you know, it's like the even scary, you know, scarier scenes when they call cut. You know, there's a lot of laughing and joking and um, just kind of hanging out, and um, it's quite lighthearted. Que tiene gracia, ¿no? Porque justo en esta temporada la, la, el, el rodaje ha sido de alguna manera muy desordenado, porque bueno, no, no iba entrado como en el, en el tiempo secuencial, sino todo lo contrario, ¿no? De repente esta parte de, de este episodio, luego otra, lo cual era un gran reto y a veces un poco confuso, porque de repente pensaba, ¿sabes? ¿En qué momento estaba un personaje? No había ni acuerdo. Y eh, eh, ahora eh, Natalia dice que, bueno, pues sí, efectivamente es como una especie de sensación de estar haciendo un puzzle todo el tiempo, ¿no? Y con todos estos géneros y este cambio de género, a pesar de eso, siempre tenemos una especie de rollo muy divertido en el set. Eh, incluso en las escenas que más nos dan, como las más terroríficas, en el momento en el que se cortan, todos nos reímos, nos lo pasamos muy bien y, y ahí hay ahí lo que nos Ya, ya, es kind of start to think about that. You know, it is coming to an end. Uh, I, I can't imagine for I can't imagine for, like what she was shooting the next season will feel like, knowing that every time you do a scene, it's going to be the last time until the end. Uh, it feel very prevalent, but uh, yeah, this scene, I, you know, for them it was a challenge to get such a big show to write. We felt the cast and crew massive challenge, and then for the actors too. Um, but there is. Yeah, rewarded that, and um, um, I, I can't. I think that was. The, I, I think I answered the question, but I, I can't remember what the question was. Apologies. Bueno, pues efectivamente, si nos estamos acercando al final, pues no me puedo ni imaginar cómo me voy a sentir cuando volvemos la siguiente temporada y entonces en cada escena tener la sensación de que esto se acaba y de que nos dejamos tan fin, ¿no? Efectivamente creo que ha sido un gran reto, aparte de darnos la mano de para todo el equipo y todo el equipo técnico, pero también ha sido muy gratificante.